What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Today we are checking out uh, SCP-999. We checked out a thousand the other day. Bigfoot today we're checking out the Tickle Monster. Now I had a lot of requests for good SCPs. A lot of people like, oh please check out the good SCPs. There's really good ones, you know. They're actually not evil. I was like, alright then. A lot of people requested good SCPs by the way. And a lot of people suggested SCP Illustrated. Like, please watch SCP Illustrated. Please, please. So yeah. But you probably don't sound like that because you're older than, than than that. But, you know, I'm just going to pretend you do. Yeah, we're going to check out the Tickle Monster. Now, I don't like being tickled. It, it doesn't feel, it doesn't make me laugh. Okay? It just feels weird. Okay? I don't like it. You let me know. I, I, it, this doesn't feel right to me. We're going to check this out. First video we checked out from SCP Illustrated 2. So, if you're new, subscribe. Of course, subscribe. I'm going to eat my bagel while we watch this, by the way. So, you know, if anyone's wondering, I'm going to eat it. And yeah, I don't know why I said that. Let's just watch this video. SCP-999. Object class safe. <laughs> Description. SCP-999 appears to be a large, amorphous, gelatinous mass of translucent orange slime, <laughs> weighing about 54 kilograms, with a consistency similar what? to that of peanut butter. 54 kilograms? <laughs> 54 kilograms, what the fuck? And it's like peanut bar. I hate peanut bar, by the way. You know what it looks like? Ditto from Pokemon. And you can't say it doesn't look like Ditto from Pokemon. If it was purple, it would. Subject's size and shape constantly change, though most of the time its form is the size of a large beanbag chair. Composition <laughs> of SCP-999 is oil-based, but consists of a substance unknown to modern science. Other than a thin, transparent membrane surrounding the orange mass, subject appears to have no organs to speak of. Hmm. Subject's temperament is best described as playful and dog-like. When approached, <laughs> SCP-999 will react with overwhelming elation, slithering over to the nearest person and leaping upon them, hugging them with a pair of pseudopods while nuzzling the person's face with a third pseudopod. I'm not gonna lie. He said it weighs 54 kilograms, ladies and gents. Now, for reference, I am 73 kg. Before anyone goes, you're light for a guy who's 6 foot 3, oh, oh, oh. listen. It's just genetics, okay? Uh, so I am. I have like that ectomorph body type, whatever it is, bro. I'm skinny, you know, just the way it is, just how it is in my family. Anyway, this man is holding up 54 kilograms like this. Wow, that's, that's impressive. He's quite strong. All the time emitting high-pitched gurgling and cooing noises. <laughs> the surface of SCP-999 emits a pleasing odour that differs from whoever uh -huh. it is interacting with. Cool. Recorded scents include chocolate, mm. fresh laundry, bacon, roses, bacon. and play-doh. Maybe it emits your favourite smell. Hmm. What would mine be? Like fresh baked bread or something. That shit is, smells delicious, bro. It really does. I have a bread factory not too far from me, so if you walk past it, you can smell bread. It's very nice, very nice. It also looks like a jellyfish a little bit, because he said it's gelatinous and it has no organs, so... Yeah. Simply touching SCP-999 surface causes an immediate euphoria which intensifies the longer one is exposed to SCP-999 and lasts long after separation from the creature. Subject's nice. favourite activity is tickle wrestling, often by completely <laughs> enveloping a person from the neck down and tickling oh. them until they ask to stop, though it does not always comply with this request. Huh. While the creature will interact with anyone, it seems to have a special interest in those who are unhappy or hurt in any way. Nice. Persons suffering from crippling depression after interacting with SCP-999 have returned completely cured with a positive outlook on life. <laughs> the possibility of marketing SCP-999 slime as an antidepressant has been discussed. In addition to its playful behaviour, SCP-999 seems to love all animals, especially humans, refusing to eat any meat, and even risking its own life to save others, even leaping in front of a person to take a bullet fired at them. Subject's intellect is still up for debate, <laughs> though its behaviour is infertile, it seems to understand human speech and most modern technology, Lovely. including guns. Ah. The creature's diet consists entirely of candy and sweets, with <laughs> M&M's and Neko wafers being its favourite. Its eating methods are similar to that of an amoeba. Special containment procedures. Alright, this thing is weird. Nice, but weird. My man said he eats candy. <laughs> it's just like a kid, bro. SCP-999 is allowed to freely roam the facility should it desire to, cool. but otherwise must stay in its pen. The subject is not allowed out of its pen at night or off facility grounds at any time. Pen is Obviously. to be kept clean and food replaced twice daily. All personnel are allowed inside SCP-999's holding area, but only if they are not assigned to other tasks at the time or Obviously. if they are on break. 
Subject is to be played with when bored and spoken to in a calm, non-threatening tone. Addendum. SCP-999-A. The following is a report from the experiment in when SCP-682 is exposed to SCP-999 in the hopes that it will curb the creature's omnicidal rage. SCP-999 is released into SCP-682's containment area. SCP-999 immediately slithers towards SCP-682. What is that? SCP-999 moves- That's kind of a crocodile iguana is this, bro. ...in front of SCP-682, jumping up and down in a dog-like manner while <laughs> calling out in a high-pitched squealing noise. Disgusting. SCP-682 immediately steps on SCP-999, completely flattening SCP-999. Observers were about to abort the experiment when SCP-682 started talking again. Hmm. What is this? <laughs> I feel all tingly inside. SCP-999 can be seen cr That shit is creepy, that voice, by the way. Not gonna lie. Crawling up from between SCP-682's toes, up along its side and around its neck, where it clings on and begins gently nuzzling with its pseudopod. A wide grin slowly spreads across SCP-682's face. <laughs> I feel so... happy. Happy. <laughs> happy, happy. SCP-682 repeats the word happy for several minutes, <sighs> laughing occasionally before escalating into non-stop laughter. As laughter continues, SCP-682 rolls around on its back, slamming its tail upon the floor with a dangerous force. <laughs> Stop. No tickling. <laughs> SCP-682 and SCP-999 continue the tickle fight until SCP-682 finally wears down and appears to fall asleep with what would appear to be a smile on its face. Hmm. After 15 minutes with no activity, two D-Class personnel enter the room to retrieve SCP-999. When SCP-999 is removed, SCP-682 immediately wakes up and unleashes an unidentifiable wave of energy from its body, all the while laughing maniacally. All persons within the wave's range collapse into crippling fits of laughter, <laughs> allowing SCP-682 to escape and slaughter all in its path. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, SCP-999 quickly rescues as many persons as it can, taking them to a safe place to recover from SCP-682's laughter wave, while agents suppress and recontain SCP-682. Despite the tragedy that SCP-682 brought upon the facility, SCP-999 has not shown any fear towards the creature, and in fact has made gestures suggesting it wants to play with SCP-682 again. SCP-682, however, has stated, that feculent little snodwort can fuck off and die. Memo from Doctor. While the test was unsuccessful and ended in tragedy, that has to be the funniest thing I've ever seen. I never thought I'd see the day when I would regard SCP-682 as cute. Please send me a copy of the security tapes ASAP. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Hey what man? Thank you for the video of Mr. Illustrated. But uh, that's fucked up. My man just decided to drop a wave and start murdering guys. Probably gonna have to check out SCP-682. I don't think he's in my um, watch later. I have 93. I have 93, 1472, 294, 231, 2295, 96. Yeah, those are the ones I have in watch later. Oh, I've got more up, up further up. But yeah, he's not there. So that weird lizard is um, obviously the most evil creature. No, very evil. Can't say most. Creepy. Decided to murder people, but he was subdued for a bit. Was he faking it though? Lord knows if he was faking it or not. But the Tickle Monster seems like a fun dude, bro. Seems like he likes to have fun. Uh, shout out to him. Uh, cures depression, all kinds. He's a good SCP. Unfortunately, there's not too many of those. But, eh, is what it is, man. Is what it is. Let me know what you thought about this. Suggest me some more SCPs to react to in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.